I have a new favorite book for you today. It's called Love Monster, written by Rachel Bright. Love Monster by Rachel Bright. This has the title on it. So this page is the title page. This is a monster. Hello, monster. I think you'll agree. He's a bit funny looking, to say the least. He lives in a world of cute, fluffy things, which makes being funny looking pretty darn hard. Official pile of extreme cuteness. You might have noticed that everyone loves kittens and puppies and bunnies. You know, cute fluffy things. But nobody loves a slightly hairy, I suppose a bit googly eyed monster. Poor monster. This might be enough to make a monster feel, well, a bit down in the dumps. But not being the moping about sort, he decided to set out and look for someone who'd love him just the way he was. He looked high. He looked low. Tumbleweed. He looked middle-ish. Hmm. He looked inside. And outside. More than once, he thought maybe... Non-cute fancy dress shop. Just maybe... Oh, that's a shadow. He'd found what he was looking for. But as it turned out, things were never quite as they seemed. Yes, it would be fair to say that his search did not go well. And then, it didn't go well some more. It didn't go well for such a long time, in fact, that it began to get dark and scary and, well, not very nice. So the monster, having lost all his oomph, decided it was time to give up and go home. But in the blink of a googly eye, everything changed. You see, sometimes when you least expect it, love finds you. For the monsters who found me, and one slightly hairy one in particular, RB. This is a dedication. They kept their dedication page till the end of the book. Welcome to Cutesville, home of the fluffy and slightly hairy. And with special thanks. Wow, we to amazing thank you to Mandy, Nancy, Helen, Ann, Janice, Kate, James, and Rose. Thank you for listening. Have a good day. Bye.